right? Um, maybe God exists, maybe he doesn't. Um, but if he doesn't exist, like, so what? <laughs> you know, we'll die and we'll be dead. Um, whereas if he does exist, like, there's eternity, there's heaven, there's hell. Um, that's really important not only for myself, but for others. Um, and I, I, you know, but um, this God who, who's engaged in this perichoresis created humans for the purpose that ultimately us humans are going to be unified with this triune God. Is that we're going to be able to be participating within deity, participating within this perichoresis. And that this was all done. The means by which this interaction happens, this unity between deity and divinity, happen through the person of Jesus Christ, right? That's what the incarnation is all about, is that where you have Jesus, who is both God and man, as sort of the medium of this of this interaction between these two, what we consider polar opposites, and yet, that's our destiny. I look into this path, like, there's a lot of, there's just like a lot of ways to, to go about finding healing. Um, and I think people, yeah, I think you kind of should like feel the freedom to like explore different things and like follow the path that makes sense to them. Because I think for me, it's just like pursuing, it's pursuing healing, both like individualistic, both individually and corporately. And again, yeah. like I do see that like reflected in like the person of Jesus, because like I still love Jesus. And it's like Jesus was about healing for the people that he was about. And he was also about healing on a societal level. And so for me, like Jesus and like those stories are always going to be important to me and always going to be a guiding force in my life. But I think again, there's like there's freedom to to diversify your you know diversify your <laughs> your portfolio of spirituality. <laughs> portfolio of spirituality. It's okay to diversify that too and find find multiple things seem helpful to you in pursuing that healing both individually and like corporately. Trust yourself. Trust that you have a, a bullshit meter that works, you know? And so I, I, one big thing for me was I just started reading um, atheist authors, uh, whereas before I basically only read Christian ones. Uh, and that's not to say, I don't think if you're serving atheist authors, you'll immediately be, see the light and whatnot, because I know a lot of people who, they've read extensively atheist literature, um, and they're still Christian atheists and whatnot, but for me, um, I thought the atheist said that I did this. Going back to that earlier question of like, other stuff besides hell that kind of uh, spearheaded my like deconstruction. Um, yeah, a big part of it was actually looking at biblical history uh, or like history during Bible times and seeing how that influenced what's in the Bible. Um, and also, yeah, seeing how like understanding why certain stuff made it into the Bible and other stuff didn't. Coming to the place where I can recognize the good that was in that, even though there was things that was harmful and bad too, like I can recognize the good that was in it. And I can also see just that, yeah, that there's, it gets better from here. And like, there's like a level of healing and like wholeness that like I never thought was like possible. Yeah, that, that's actually pretty high.